which cheese will melt the fastest. Get ready for the tastiest science experiment ever. I'm melting three different cheeses today to see which one melts the fastest and some experts might say the best. Yeah, a cheese can melt the best. Today, I'm grilling up feta, gouda, and brie. And yes, it's about to smell interesting in here. This isn't even my house. I'm not the house guest you want. There's a real science to cheese melting and I'm about to do a thesis on whatever that is. Got a three cheese circus going on here. Ooh, we're starting to melt. We are just about done with our experimental lunch break and Brie melted quickly and a lot, but Gouda melted the best. Here's why I say that. Melting of cheese has mostly to do with moisture and acidity. Long story short, the level of acid in each cheese determines how well it will melt. Each at about 5.3, it has the perfect amount of water retention. It's melty without becoming overly goopy. Your ideal melting cheese for a grilled cheese is gonna be at a pH between 5.3 and 5.5. I'm the Walter White of cheese right now. Breaking brie. Speaking of brie, my bread didn't survive, but it's super high moisture and low acidity with a pH of about 6.5. So it's gonna puddle itself. And while jumping into a puddle of brie sounds like a dream I once had, it's not ideal for making a sandwich. But now we're revealing the least meltable cheese, poor feta. With a more acidic pH of 4.5, it just kind of becomes brittle when it's heated. It doesn't melt well, just kind of crumbles. Not super moisturized. Not bad though, just not melted. And I haven't even started on the non-melters like paneer, halloumi, and ricotta. So they cook, but they don't melt at all. If you've ever had halloumi fries, you may have seen this in action. And that's the science of grilled cheese. So just because a cheese melts really quickly doesn't mean that it's the best cheese for a grilled cheese. So choose your cheeses carefully. It'll determine the fortune or flop of your lunch.